to be a little different today, and we're gonna do a shoe review for the Nike Vapor 9.5 Tour. The Nike 9.5 Vapor Tour, whatever. I, I, I've been a long time fan of Federer. He's so good. He just makes the game so, look so easy, and he is so aggressive with how he hits the ball, and he works the ball at the same time. It's just this magic combination, it seems like, and he's got all of those wins. When, ever since I was, you know, probably like nine or ten years old, I started wearing Vapors because they fit my foot well, and I had a lot of foot problems, and um, I had to wear weird shoes most of the time because of that. And I still like these shoes. They're super light. They fit your foot really well, and, uh, you know, the endorsement of having Roger Federer wear your shoe and use it to win 17 majors is huge. I mean, he use, he wears these and he wins like none other. Okay, yeah, they don't last all that long, but you know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay to play, you know? Wait, that looks a little weird. What is that? Okay, maybe it's just that colorway. Maybe it's set. Oh no, wait, here we go. Here's a, here's a matte shoe. It's not the same at all. Oh, well, some of the pattern is similar. I suppose. Okay, maybe like 40% of it. Huh. This looks kind of wide though. This doesn't look that wide. It's very wide actually. And that's, and that's not rubber. I mean, Nike wouldn't, wouldn't like cosmetically modify a different shoe to like look like the one they sell people, right? I mean, they'd never do that. They've never done that. I mean, that that's totally the lunar ballistic. See see there you go. That's the lunar ballistic, and, and that that is too. And that's the core ballistic. Totally different. It's not like Roger actually uses a shoe that's super wide, and this one happens to be narrow. And he doesn't happen to use like carbon fiber shank and leather upper materials and we get rubber and it's all glued together. I mean, that seems ridiculous. All right, I, I, all right guys, this is a ruse. Uh, this isn't a review about these shoes at all. Um, the shoes that we get, these Vapor 9.5 Tours, I assume most people who buy these buy them because Federer wears them, wears them. Yes. Kyrgios and uh, what's his face, Dimitrov will wear these shoes, but let's be honest, everyone cares about Federer and not really those two. No, I mean, Roger has to be using these shoes, of course. I mean, the, okay, yeah, the tread pattern is different. Okay, yeah, we we saw the shank is carbon fiber and the shoe is, oh, uh, a 6E wide, which is wider than anything else you can buy on the market. Um, and this is leather on his shoe, but it's the same shoe, right? I mean, not like if someone were to, I don't know, cut up one of these. I mean, really cut it up. Take the outside part, strip down the outside part. Get another pair of shoes that were wider, with more stability, with a better tread pattern, more durability, with a carbon fiber shank, and better materials, and better cushioning, and 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 just take a different shoe and, and put this one on there. It's not like that would be closer to what Roger uses than this. I mean, this is a great shoe. It, it lasts about a, like 10 hours or less on a grippier surface. You know, that, that's that's pretty good for 130 bucks. You know, that, you know, I I mean, most people, you know, th this is a high performance shoe. If you want to play the best tennis of your life and have no support, no stability, you know, I mean, uh, this shoe would work great.